हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर लर्डिंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट थ्री थ्री नाइन इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम दिसी इज आई वुड से नॉर्मल एज एक्सपेक्टेड इन थर्ड लेवल प्रॉब्लम सो द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज माइस एंड चीज सो देर आर टू माइस एंड एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ चीज ओके ईच टाइप ऑफ चीज शुड बी ईटन बाई एग्जैक्टली वन माइस वन माउस बेसिकली ओके ना अ पॉइंट ऑफ द चीज विथ इंडेक्स आई इज रिवॉर्ड वन ऑफ आई if the first mouse eats it and reward two of i if the second mouse eats it okay you are given a positive integer array reward one and a positive integer array reward two and a non negative integer k return the maximum points the mice can achieve if the first mouse eats exactly k types of cheese okay so there are two mice and a couple of arrays rewards okay so this tells me that if the first cheese is eaten by the first mouse then i get total 1 points however if the same type of cheese is eaten by the second mouse i get 4 points okay so similarly if the second second type of cheese is eaten by the first mouse i get 1 point if it is eaten by the second mouse i get 4 points if it is eaten if the third type of cheese is eaten by the first mouse i get 3 points uh, if second mouse eats it i get 1 point and so on right so that's what the problem is saying now what we need to do is we are also given an integer k okay we are also given an integer k and what we need to do is we need to find the maximum possible points that i can achieve if exactly k types of cheese is eaten by the first mouse okay so i am bound to assign k cheese to the first mouse that is what the problem is saying now let's look into some of the examples so these are the two reward arrays and k equals to 2 means two types of cheese has to be eaten by the first mouse so what i'll do just see one of the possibilities is what are the uh, maximum points that i can achieve so if this and this these two cheese these two types of cheese is eaten by the first mouse how many points do i get i get 3 plus 4 okay now these two types of cheese are gone okay now the remaining two will be eaten by the other mouse so i'll get the remaining points will be 4 plus 4 so 4 plus 4 so i get 15 so 15 is my answer okay and you can see that 15 is the maximum possible answer that you can get now what is the other possibility if i'll i'll show you just one more possibility so 16 is something that we got however if you do something like that first and second type of cheese is eaten by the first mouse so i get 1 plus 1 plus the remaining two will be eaten by the second mouse so so these two types of cheese are gone right these two are gone so 1 plus 1 so just see i get only 4 points so you can try different combinations but the maximum point that you can get is 15 here okay let's see about this so 1 1 1 1 so and the first mouse has to eat two types of cheese so both the types of cheese will be eaten by the first mouse i get 1 plus 1 equals to 2 points right so that's the problem statement okay now if i talk about the intuition right how to how to proceed with it right so it says that k types of cheese are to be eaten by the first mouse now what i can do is i can choose those k types of cheese where the reward the reward that i get okay my aim is to maximize the reward right so suppose i take out the diff i'm just taking an example i take out the diff between each type of cheese that first and second mice get so it is something like reward 1 of i minus reward 2 of i okay this is telling me this is telling me that this is the difference between uh, the reward that uh, the total points that i get if the first cheese is eat, eaten by the if the ir type of cheese is eaten by the first mouse uh, versus it is eaten by the second mouse okay that's what that's what it tells okay so if i find the difference of all these for all the i okay for all the i now the maximum value here suppose the value is 10 here okay for a particular i the value is 10 here so what it is telling me it is telling me that if the ir type of cheese is is eaten by the first mouse okay i get 10 more points as compared to if the same cheese is eaten by the second mouse that's the meaning of it right if it is a positive value that means i get more points if that particular cheese is eaten by the first mouse as compared to the points that i get if the same cheese was eaten by the second mouse okay what what about if this value is negative suppose it is minus 100 or something like that so it means that if the ith type of cheese is eaten by the first mouse i get 100 points less as compared to if the same type of cheese was eaten by the second mouse okay this is what it means so now 
for all i if i take out different values like if let me take this example so the first it is 1 minus 4 so that comes out to be minus 3 then again minus 3 then again 3 minus 1 is 2 and 4 minus 1 is 3 so these are the four differences right now just see these are the two possible values sorry these are the two positive values and i need to take two types of cheese right i need to assign two types of cheese to the first mouse so obviously these two types of cheese will be eaten by the first mouse right because i am getting a positive difference meaning i'll get more points if it is eaten by the first mouse and the remaining two will be eaten by the second mouse so this is a trick here you find the difference you find r1 minus r2 why r1 minus r2 because you need to prefer the first mouse over the other okay so once you get all the differences just sort it okay just sort it now after sorting implementation can be different but the main intuition is whichever whichever cheese is giving you the maximum points okay if you sort it what do you get you get three two minus three minus three this is index number three index number two and index number one zero something like this. so for third and second type of cheese pick the first mouse okay because i need to pick two types of mouse two sorry two types of cheese if uh, if k was three so i would have picked up these three things okay because i sort it so this is the basic intuition uh, what i what i do is so you sort it and pick the top k or the first k and in, in which way you have to sort you have to sort it in descending order okay sort it in descending order so the first guy will sorry here the first guy will have the uh, will will show me what is the maximum difference what is the maximum difference that i get for a particular type of cheese between r1 and r2 okay so if i show you the implementation so this this is all about intuition the implementation is simple uh, i take um, a list of diff okay my answer is zero i take a list of diff let me just maximize it okay i take a list of diff this is the number of elements i, ha I have now i i add all the indices in the in my list okay because i will be sorting and finally i'll be getting the sorted indices okay so collections dot sort diff you pass two indices here okay two types of cheese now find the difference so difference one is reward for the first mice for the eighth type of cheese minus reward for the second mice for the eighth type of cheese and similarly for b okay now i need i return d2 minus d1 so this is all about how you sort in descending order okay so after this the maximum difference index will come at the top okay will come at the first position now pick the first k types of cheese okay first k types of cheese these are the indices so r1 for these indices add it to your answer for the remaining type of cheese what you do you start from i equals to k i less than n for for these type of cheese you take the reward for the second mice and finally you return the answer right so this is how you solve this problem uh yeah, I, I, I hope you learned something new from this video. Uh, in case still you have any queries related to this solution, do let me know in the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Um, also, yeah, just try to uh, try just just try to code it yourself. You'll you'll get a better feel of how to solve these types of problems. Okay, so yeah, take care. Bye bye.